welcome to our Math Thinker Studio. Ako, si Teacher Ray, na bumabati ng isang magandang araw sa ating lahat, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga taga-subaybay ng ating mga video, mga grade 5 pupils natin at ganun din ang ating mga magulang. Tayo ay nasa ikasyam na linggo na ng ating pag-aaral. At uh, ang tatalakayin natin ay find the missing terms in a pair of equivalent ratios. Huwag na natin patagalin. To find the missing terms in a pair of equivalent ratio, narito ang mga dapat natin gawin. Una, write the ratio in fraction form. Pangalawa, use cross multiplication. Write the equation, then solve for the missing value. Narito ang ating unang example at ating basahin. During weekends, Joey helps her mother sell buko juice. For every buko, Joey adds 4 liters of water. How many liters of water does he need for 3 buko so that the taste will be the same? So ngayon, sasagutin natin yan sa pamamagitan ng illustration. Kung ang uh, isang buko ay uh, naglalagay si Joey ng apat na litro ng tubig, ilang litrong tubig ang magagamit niya sa tatlong buko. Okay? So, yung unang illustration natin ay nagre-represent ng 1 over 4 or 1 to 4. Isang buko sa apat na litrong tubig. Pangalawa naman ay 3 over N. Yung 3, yun yung tatlong buko, yung N ngayon, yun ang bilang kung ilang litrong tubig ang ilalagay ni Joey. So, tingnan natin. Kung ang isang buko ay may apat na litrong tubig, ayan, dagdagan pa natin ng apat na litrong tubig at apat na litrong tubig. So, kung bibilangin natin kung ilang litrong tubig dun sa tatlong buko, meron tayong 12. So, ang value ng N natin ay is equal to 12. Okay, so ngayon naman ay papakita ko sa inyo yung isa pang paraan kung paano pagkuha ng missing term na gagamitan ng cross multiplication. So ngayon, i-multiply natin ang 1 times n is equal to 4 times 3. So gagawin natin dyan ay kopyahin natin yung letter n, then equals, multiply natin 4 times 3 is equal to 12 over 1. So, saan natin kinuha yung 1? Kinuha natin dito. So, yung 1 na nandyan ay ilalagay natin dito. Okay? And then, n is equal to 12 divided by 1 is equal to 12. So, ang value ngayon ng n ay 12. I-check natin. 1 fourth or 1 to 4 is equal to 3 to 12. So, palitan na natin yung uh, n ng 12. So, cross multiplication natin. 1 times 12 and 4 times 3. So, 1 times 12 is equal to 12. Then, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So ngayon, nakikita natin na pareho ang product nila. Therefore, if the product is the same, it means they are equivalent ratios. Next example. 5 over 12 is equal to 15 over n. Sundan natin ulit kung anong ginawa natin kanina. So multiply natin ang 5 times n is equal to Isunod natin ang 12 times 15. So, ibaba natin yung letter N is equal to, let us multiply 12 times 15. The product is 180 over yung 5 natin kanina, ito, na nasa unahan, ay ilalagay natin dito sa baba. Okay? So, 180 divided by 5 is equal to 36. So, the value of n is 
36. Check natin kung tama ang sagot natin. So, 5 over 12 is equal to 15 over 36. Cross multiplication, 5 times 36 is equal to 12 times 15. So, 5 times 36 is equal to 180, then 12 times 15 is equal to 180. So, ang sagot nila ay pareho. Therefore, the product is the same. It means 5 over 12 and 15 over 36 are equivalent ratios. Next example. N over 10 is equal to 18 over 30. So, multiply natin ang N times 30 is equal to 10 times 18. So, ibaba natin yung N is equal to. Multiply natin yung 10 times 18. The answer is 180. And then, over. So, may 30 tayo dito. Itong 30 na to ay ibababa natin, ilalagay natin dito. So, 180 divided by 30. So, the value of n is 6. Okay, so i-check natin. Gagamitin natin yung value ng n na 6. So, 6 over 10 is equal to 18 over 30. So, 6 times 30 and 10 times 18. So, 6 times 30 is equal to 180. Then, 10 times 18 is equal to 180. The product is the same. It means they are equivalent ratios. Another example. 4 over 7 and n over 14. So let us, multi let us multiply 4 times 14 and 7 times n. So 4 times 14 is equal to 56 is equal over 7. So yung 7 natin dito ay inilagay naman natin ngayon dito sa baba. Okay? At ang natitira na lang doon ay letter N. So let us divide. 56 divided by 7 is equal to 8. And that is the value of N. O, yan yung, pinata yun yung missing value natin. So check natin. 4 over 7 is equal to 8 over 14. So yung N, papalitan na natin ng value nito na 1. Okay? So, let us multiply 4 times 14 and 7 times 8. 4 times 14 is equal to 56 and 7 times 8 is equal to 56. The product is the same. It means these two ratios are equivalent. Next example. 3 over y is equal to 9 over 12. So let us multiply 3 times 12 is equal to y times 9. So let us multiply 3 times 12 is equal to 36 over 9. So yung 9 natin na to ay ilalagay natin ngayon dito sa baba ng 36. Okay? Itong 9 na to nilalagay natin dun sa baba ng 36. Is equal to, ang natira doon ay letter Y. And let us divide 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. And that is the missing value or the value of Y. Then let us check. So 3, 4, yung 4, yun yung value ng Y natin. Is equal to 9 over 12. So let us multiply 3 times 12 and 4 times 9. So 3 times 12 is equal to 36. Then 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Their product is the same means they are equivalent ratios.
Diyan na naman ang tatapos ang uh, ating talakayan sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Ray, nag-iiwan ng isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Paalam!